Yo, you dig what I'm saying? What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all. As you guys can see, we got the Green Hornet. We got Back to the Money. We got Mamba. And then further down the line, you dig what I'm saying? We got the Versatile Vet. Don't nobody know where Versatile at. He probably somewhere off sleeping or something. That's what Versatile do when he not on camera. Ain't that right, Money? What up, man? Y'all know that it is, man. He just be sitting there sleeping, huh? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. See, see, he ain't got nothing to say. You know why he ain't got nothing to say? Because his mama told him, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't, don't say, say none at all. So, with that being said, we're not even going to talk about versatile speed and his versatile But look, though, bit. people, look, though, people. Y'all drop a comment down below, man. It's three YouTubers working together. What y'all think about that? Leave a comment down below. That's all you got? Huh? And that's all you got? What? I never took the camera off. Oh, like, share, comment, subscribe. That's it. Okay. Man, I'm, I'm trying to uh, It's okay, man. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into this video, man. You dig? So in today's video, man, y'all are probably wondering from the title and the thumbnail, what are you talking about, J.I.? What could possibly be wrong with this beautiful beast right here? What could possibly be wrong with it? What could go wrong, huh? You know what I'm saying? It looks so good on camera. It looks so good in pictures. It looks so good on the vlogs. You feel me? But yes, I know. All that being said, I know. But the car still has flaws, and I'm gonna let you guys know what they are now. So, let's get into it. Five minutes later. Starting off with number one, man. It's gonna be this passenger side wheel. All right, I don't know exactly where the spot is. Oh yeah, I do, I lied. It's right there, okay? So, on this spot right there, we got a little bit of curb rash, um, which, it's not my fault at all, honestly. If you guys didn't see that video, make sure you guys go tap in. Um, there's a link in the description or at the end of the video. Y'all go check it out. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Now, it's not just this wheel. When I first got the wheels dropped off, I noticed that there were some runs in every single wheel's clear coat. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's a very hard color to get. Um, especially with the flake and everything and the time period that bro had, you know, I don't know what happened But it's gonna get fixed. I'm dropping them off this weekend to get repainted this uh, The curb rash on this wheel is getting fixed and then repainted as well And then on top of that the wheels are getting ceramic coated because I don't know how well it's picking up on camera But the front wheels are perfectly red but then you go to the rear and them joints look maroon. Why? Because of brake dust. So with that being said, there's two things that I'm gonna be doing to try to eliminate the brake dust. And number one is gonna be getting the wheel ceramic coated. And then number two, I'm gonna be switching to power stop brake pads. Hey. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I knew you was gonna say so. I was not <laughs> I knew you was gonna say so. But yeah, man, I will be making a switch to power stops for the brake pads. The rotors are perfectly fine. I still love my R1 Concepts drug and slotted rotors. It's just they're not cutting it for the rear. Now, that's just the wheels, right? So that's what, two things? Or we could, we're just going to say that's, the, that's one thing all combined into one. Okay? So that's issue number one. Now, issue number two. Now, this is going to be kind of hard to uh, show you guys on camera. You can kind of see it now. You see this little bubble? This little bulge on the front bumper. Now look at this shot. You see that? I hope you guys can see the difference. You see how it's like popping out right here? 
and then on this side it's perfectly like slanted yeah so i have no idea honestly what happened to the bumper but for some odd reason look you can see it way better now for some odd reason it's like it's pushed out man i don't know if like when I was driving, I may have hit something or whatever the case may be. Oh, would you look who it is? Would yes, you sir. look at who it is? What's good? What's good? Who the fuck is this? Who are you showing? What the what fuck happened? you doing on this side of town? <laughs> My side now, buddy. Your side. <laughs> Excuse me? I think your residence is elsewhere. I don't even think you're from here. Oh, well, we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> the, the laws may be watching. Anyway, so I was telling him, brother, about the deformity in my front bumper yeah. and then the following flaw, uh, flaws that the car has right now, you know. Sorry, we all got them. We you know, they're all getting fixed. Things. You know, <laughs> everything's getting fixed. So after the bumper, so I already talked to them about the, you know, the runs in the wheel and shit like that. And then the curb rash part of the, this wheel right here. And then the bulge in the bumper, you know what I'm saying? And then, ah, uh, damn, the car is locked right now. <laughs> All right, y'all, so then you open the door, right? And then, as you guys can see, there's a gap that runs through the entire side skirt. For some reason, I was told that I could reuse the stock uh, clips. You definitely cannot reuse the stock clips. As y'all can see, there's a gap right there, and then there's a gap running through the entire side skirt from where it meets the fender. Now, with the door closed, not fender, but the body of the car, with the door closed, you can't tell. You can't, you really cannot tell. And it's the same on the other side too, which is crazy. So you pop the door open, there's a little bit of gap right there. And then you pop the door open, and there's a way bigger gap on the inside, man. So, got some new clips coming for that, so we can go ahead and get that fixed. And then going to the trunk, as you guys know, I love this trunk setup to death. But there's definitely a lot of flaws with this trunk setup. Uh, coming in hot at number one, the marble floor, for some reason, it always separates. Because we had to turn it into two pieces because you can't fit one gigantic piece in the trunk thanks to Chevy and their awesome design of the trunk opening. Um, second thing, for some odd reason, all of the airlines have been ran and underneath the marble floor and tucked away and then ran through this grommet right here. So this side is actually done. The reason why this side is not done is because that line blew two days ago and I haven't gotten a chance to go up and get some airline. I got some airline ordered and sent to the job. However, it still has not made it here yet, which is very upsetting, but it is what it is. So I got this ghetto jank setup right now, which I just messed up of a zip tie and the water trap <laughs> and then the little net that they give you for groceries just to hold it in place so that the tank can hold air man so and then also i need to go ahead and install my second compressor i'm just waiting on the 90 degree um fittings to come in so we can go ahead and take this bong off and run the lines for the compressor to this side of the tank um, but yeah, man, I think that's it as far as like the flaws with the trunk setup. The trunk setup is pretty, it's pretty clean. Um, it's just, I really want to be able to have the floor stay like this even when I'm driving. If you guys have any ideas, drop them in the comment section down below. I'm always open to read the comments and see what you guys have to say. Now, with that, all of that being said, my last issue and my main issue, which has been an issue ever since I picked up the car, the front bumper, man. The condition of the front bumper is just so terrible, it's ridiculous. First and foremost, when I first got this bumper, I noticed a whole bunch, I gotta turn, I gotta make it a little darker so y'all can see. A whole bunch of scratches in the paint, this freaking dent the size of the side of my finger, that's right here that dent right there then like those little pieces of paint coming off and then some more scratches along the side right there so yeah man 
this bumper definitely has seen better days um, and it's time to replace it. Evidently, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing really to do other than just get a new one, especially with this passenger side looking like it got stung by a freaking bee or a wasp or something and had an allergic reaction. It's just time to get a new one. Also, y'all, another thing that's wrong, this freaking fog light right here does not want to work. I don't understand why. Um, no, actually I do. The black signal wire popped out of the halo ring. Y'all stay tuned for when the new one arrives, the install, I'll show you guys what's going on. And then lastly, the halo ring on the inside of the head, like as you guys can see, that joint right there is a flow series ring. But they sent me the wrong module and they refused to send me the right one. So I had to buy one. It's on the way. We should be having that ring on eventually <laughs> so with that being said i need you guys to let me know down in the comment section down below what do we do do we get a regular degler 1415 ss bumper or do we do the 6th gen conversion 1le zl1 whatever you want to call it uh conversion front bumper now you guys already know i did this on hazel a while back that's why i didn't want to do it to this car but if there is a good amount of responses down below. You know what I'm saying? I know some things now that I didn't know before. I could make it look way better than it did on Hazel as far as Fitment goes. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know down in the comment section down below. But without further ado, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you drop a comment in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And please, 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 most important of all, God damn it. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, back to the money, and my boy Versatile Speed in his bitch. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> and also, y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my boy J.I. too, man. There's, there's children that watch this, sir. Man, you know he ain't, bro. He just got done cussing that bitch. Hey, yo, do that. You have to hey. come with the profanity <laughs> like that? He it's shooting and watch this. And he gonna edit his out, right? Wow, yeah, so you gonna sit here and talk bad. Bad. So you gonna sit here and talk You did it to me already on the weekend. What I do to you on the weekend? I ain't dropped that video yet, y'all. Y'all gonna see. What video? <laughs> hey, bro, ain't you supposed to be closing this out, man? What you talking about? You know, we gone, man. <laughs> Five minutes later. We over here, you know what I'm saying? Work, I'm working on my car. What is the green order doing back there? <laughs> on camera, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. The real back to the money comes up, huh? Once that camera turn off, that's crazy. That's a blue. Oh, that's crazy.